Less than 13.6 is exponential from two points. It says to write an exponential function, they give us the form here, y equals a times something b to the x power that goes through the points 0, 20, and 4, 3, 20. The nice thing about this is this is actually your initial value. I don't know why I said that weird, but your initial value. It's also your y-intercept that we talked about we needed, because on a graph that is like its initial value. And so that tells me my a of where I'm starting. So that's 20. The only thing I don't know is the b. I don't know the growth rate or the decay rate. Obviously, I'm growing because I'm going from y value of 20 to 320. So what you want to do is use the point 4 is your x, 320 is your y, and plug everything in. The only spot you won't have a number for is the b. So we'll say 320 equals 20 times b to the x power, which is going to be 4. If I'm going to solve for b, the first thing I need to do is get rid of this times 20. So I would divide that away. I can do some mental math here. The zeros are going to cancel. 32 divided by 2 is 16. So I get that 16 equals b to the fourth. If I want to get rid of the fourth power, I have to do the opposite of that, which is to fourth root it. And so this is kind of tricky to think fourth root of 16. That's saying what number times itself four times is 16. If you want to do it on a calculator, you have to hit four first, then math, and then it's option five with a little x in front of the radical. So I'm doing fourth root of 16, which should be two. Because two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. That's how I knew that. So now I'm ready to write my equation. It's going to be y equals my a value was my initial value, which was the 20. I found out my b was 2 to the x power. All right, let's try another one. Number 2 says write an exponential function in the form y equals a times b of the x that goes through the points 0, 8, and 2, 200. So again, this is my a. So a is going to be 8. I don't know what b is, but I'm going to find it by plugging in x is 2 and y is 200. So it'd be 200 equals 8 times b squared. So to solve for b, I'd have to divide away the 8 first. Don't know that one. 200 divided by 8 is 25 equals some number squared. To get rid of the squared, I square root, which gets me 5. And we're not going to make it positive negative. Negative doesn't make sense in this case. So it's y equals um, my starting value of 8 times, apparently everything's times 5 to the x number of times. And number 3, a sample of a radioactive isotope had an initial mass of 480 milligrams in the year 2009 and decays exponentially over time. A measurement in the year 2011 found that the sample's mass had, had decayed to 390 milligrams. What would be the expected mass of the sample in the year 2016 to the nearest whole number? So they give us the initial. The problem is they're telling us that's in the year 2009. And I don't really want to write the point 2009, <coughs> 480. So what's much easier is to make 2009 actually year zero, because that's when the study apparently started. So that's one point. Then my other point would say that in the year 2011, I didn't want to write 2011 since I made 2009 zero. So how many years after 2009 is 2011? It would be two years after that, and its mass was 390 milligrams. So it's apparently decaying because it's going down. So then you would want to do the same thing we did above. You would have your y value be the 390, x be the 2, your a is the initial value. So you would have 390 equaling 480 times b squared. Divide by 480. It's going to be some kind of fraction or decimal. I'm actually probably just going to leave it like that. So then that would be, let's just see what that is as a fraction. Meh, it's not bad. But I'm going to leave it as a decimal, I think. So 0.8125 equals something squared. I would just need to square root that. And I get that. So I'm going to keep several of those decimals here. Let me write 
my equation. It's y, which represents how much mass or milligrams the sample would have, started with 480 times, this is my b, or my common ratio here, 0 0.9013878. I would do, you could even write the whole thing. I'll probably just steal that answer here again. And then it wants it for year 2016. So if this is year zero, how many years later is 2016 from 2009? That would be seven years later. So I would put it to the seventh power. So I'm actually gonna keep this answer in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put my exponent button and steal this answer, take it to the seventh power and then take it times 480. And so it said to the nearest whole number, so that would be 232. And that was in milligrams.